What's going on everybody? Welcome to Cafe and Views Season 5 where we went to Santa Monica. Today we went to Demetais and we got ourselves the Icy Mint Cubano. Let's talk about the inside of the coffee shop. This coffee shop is located near Wilshire Boulevard and the beach is also just a walk away. The inside of the coffee shop is also pretty nice. It gives off that real authentic coffee shop vibe where you can sit inside if you want to. If you're gonna work on some papers or on computer and you can also go outside and and sit near the street so there's plenty of seating outside but inside not as much but that shouldn't be an issue because it's typically not as busy you know, in the morning and afternoon the menu is also pretty extensive they have a lot to choose from in terms of coffee their coffee selection in terms of abnormality is not as complex but they do have specialties that are a little bit out of the norm and also the icy mint cubano is also different than other coffees that you would get from a typical coffee shop and they do also sell water so if you want something besides coffee you can get that as well they also sell snacks they're not as complex snacks but they are kind of like finger food but it does give that kind of starbucks effect where you could go inside and you could work and kind of have the time fly by while you're getting stuff done on your computer you're drinking a nice coffee at a nice area at a nice coffee shop as well this coffee shop is also dog friendly because they have dog treats inside so you can bring your dog and have your dog around you and drink your coffee and they also have a cool kind of looking machine that shows you how they brew the coffee for the overall coffee shop and because of the area and because how it looks i'm going to give this a four out of five let's talk about the aroma so right off the jump i am getting that mint smell so it is pretty prominent. It reminds me of just typical mint leaves. So if you were to just take a whole bunch of mint leaves and smell it, that's exactly what you're gonna get. It's not super prominent and it's not gonna hit your face like a sweeter coffee might, but the aroma is there and the mint does give it that different kind of aroma. It's still nice, but it's not as strong as where I'd want it to be. And it is pleasant, so it is going to enhance your mood and it is gonna make you feel like it's more earthy and green. So it's gonna make you feel like a nice day out like a spring day or a summer day but I'm only getting the slight coffee smell but the mint is overtaking it but the aroma is subtle so you're not gonna really get much of that coffee smell you're gonna get more mint than anything else you do have to lean into it for the aroma because it's so subtle I'm only gonna give this about a 2.5 out of 5 let's talk about the city so this coffee is pretty sweet you can get that sugary taste off it when you first take the sip, giving a real sweetness vibe. I'm not getting any sour notes from here, but the mint does provide a nice sharp feeling. When you get that taste of the mint, it provides that sharp feeling, but then when it's in your mouth and it combines with the coffee and everything else, it kind of mellows out. It provides a nice tame feeling to it. When you're trying this coffee, acidity is gonna be more on the sweet side. I would put it more so maybe a notch or two above middle point. So it's not quite super sweet like a caramel, but it does give you an indication that it's gonna be a sweet coffee. So for acidity, I'm gonna put this at a 3.5 out of five. Next up on the list is gonna be balance. The coffee does change for the better. The sweetness is not as strong. It kind of balances itself out and brings out the coffee to that middle point of sweetness that I love. This coffee is a notch or two above the middle point. So with aftertaste, it brings it down to that perfect level. So the creaminess, the weight, and the overall vibe of the coffee, because it enhances the coffee more, you're getting more of that mint in the sweetness. And then at the end, you're getting more of that true coffee. So you're getting all the sensations in the coffee because it changes and you're able to figure out the sweetness and how sweet it is. You're able to figure out the flavor, the texture, the consistency, the weight and the trail. So you're able to figure out everything that characterizes a coffee because it changes. Since the mint is more prominent in the flavor, so you are able to figure out that it is a minted coffee because of that. Since it's creamy, it kind of enhances the coffee. It kind of makes the coffee more creamy than the coffee actually is. It blends everything together real well almost to the tea but for balance i'm gonna put this at a four out of five next up is gonna be complexity coffee is not complex it's the first cubano that i got so cubanos are more creamy so that's why i've been mentioning this coffee is super creamy and it's super thick and full because it's a mint coffee it's not complex but it does change the overall vibe of the coffee and it does make you get a different option at the coffee shop but it's not quite complex to the point where you are, you're like, I have to get the coffee to be different. We are able to figure out the four characteristics of the coffee, the milk, the coffee, the sweetness, and the mint, but the taste is also different. You don't get that minty feeling in other coffees or that real true creamy feeling that you are searching for. This is one of the coffees that doesn't have that, that water or soda consistency. It's not quite thick, but it is in that threshold 
of creaminess and thickness. For complexity, I'm gonna put this at a 2.5 out of 5. Next up is gonna be flavor. You're getting that sugary flavor that combines with the coffee and the mint. So in a way, you're getting four different flavors all at one. So you're able to kind of figure out what exactly what went into it. You might get that sugary feeling. You might get some almond milk or you might get the mint and you also might get the coffee. So the, this coffee does a really good job at making you figure out what kind of flavors you want to taste at what given moment. And if you're not really, if you don't care about that, you're able to combine it all into one good, nice flavor. The flavor is pretty strong. It is more prominent than the aroma. So you are going to get a higher sensation drinking the coffee versus smelling it. But it does give you an earthy, fruity vibe because of the mint. The mint, you know, having that ground up and thinking about it, this overall gives you that earthy feeling like a rugged or like an earthy feeling as if you were outside in the spring and summer. The more prominent flavor that I'm getting is the mint. So the flavor for the mint is making up for lack of real mint and aroma. You can still detect the mint and aroma. And it does provide an alive feeling because you're getting the mint. So because it's bringing you back to that summer and spring feeling, the flavor does enhance the mood and it does make you feel like it's gonna be a nice coffee when it's you know, when there's no clouds out, it's a blue sky, you're near the beach. So this coffee is gonna be perfect for that because it's a mint coffee and it's gonna put you at that beach when you're almost at the beach. If you don't wanna drink this coffee outside, take this coffee, go about half a mile to the beach and then sip it while you're sitting down and looking at the ocean. As you can see, this coffee is perfect for the beach. You can see behind me, just imagine yourself getting the ice mint cubano and coming to Santa Monica Beach, even the area that I'm in, just relaxing, drinking this coffee, looking out into the ocean, just looking out into the pier. It's just gonna enhance your mood and just overall give you a better feeling. You know, maybe if you've had a stressful day or it's the weekend and you just want your day to be even more beneficial or even more enhanced, you can definitely grab this coffee and just hang out here, sit, lay, stand. It doesn't matter what you do. You grab this coffee and you come to Santa Monica Beach, your day is definitely gonna get enhanced for the better. Now that you got a glimpse of what this coffee can do and how you can feel, let's get back to the review. And the aroma is getting enhanced by the flavor because the flavor is so prominent. So it's kind of bumping up the aroma's sensation even more. For flavor, because it's so pronounced and because it enhances the aroma, I'm gonna put the flavor at a four out of five. Let's talk about the body. So it does provide a slight milkshake vibe to it. So you can definitely detect the creaminess and the fullness of it. it kind of has a thick, feeling and the weight is definitely there so you're gonna feel it in your mouth and you're gonna have a nice creamy sensation and it does provide a nice layer in your tongue because it's so creamy it is gonna coat it and provide multiple layers as opposed to a coffee that might provide just one layer this coffee provides multiple so it's gonna weigh down your tongue and it's gonna stick around for a long time for body I'm gonna put this at about a 4.5 out of 5. Next up is gonna be forgiveness I am gonna forgive this coffee for not having a strong aroma and not having the complexity that I enjoy because the body and the flavor is so nice. Just those two characteristics in the coffee make the coffee and it makes me want to come back and get the same coffee or even try out the other coffees that they have. The overall mouth feeling of the coffee is nice. The feeling of drinking this coffee is nice. The mint enhances it. For forgiveness, I am going to put this at about a 3.5 out of 5. Let's talk about aftertaste. So the coffee slightly changes from when you're sipping it to when it's on your tongue to when it's out. You are getting more of a creamy flavor and a creamy feeling when and the coffee dissipates and there's some remnants there, but it is for the better. It is providing a heavier, creamy feeling once it's gone and you are getting more of that mint coffee feeling. The milk is subsiding and then the sweetness is also subsiding. So if you don't like that little bit sweet feeling, you're gonna like the aftertaste because it's gonna change and provide a better overall feeling. And it does provide a wet sensation. So it's not gonna dry your mouth like a sour coffee might. It's gonna wet it and provide a nice feeling and it's gonna coat it. So you're gonna be really happy drinking this coffee if you like coffees to stick around. And then the lingering flavor, obviously it's the coffee and the mint. The coffee is more pronounced than the mint in the aftertaste. So you're gonna get more of that creamy coffee feeling at the end when it dissipates and there's some remnants left over. So for the aftertaste, I'm gonna put this at a four out of five. Let's talk about versatility. Since it's not complex and since the flavor and just the overall body is there, I'm gonna say you could grab this coffee at any point. I am gonna recommend this coffee now, this is the first coffee that I've had in Santa Monica and I'm already going to recommend that you go to this shop first instead of checking out all the other coffee shops. Things might change and their other coffee shops might be better 
but so far this is like a really great coffee and you could definitely pick this up. I would say grab this coffee more so in the afternoon and the evening. I wouldn't say grab it in the morning because it's a coffee that you want to enjoy and since the flavor and the body are so nice and complex, you want to reserve this for that moment when you're out of work and you're able to enjoy your day without any limitations definitely go grab this coffee. For versatility, I'm gonna put this at a 3.5 out of 5. All in all, the Ice Mint Cubano from Demitase got a 36 out of 50 or 72% out of 100. I definitely recommend this coffee. It's definitely a coffee that you're gonna to wanna to check out if you're in the area. Stay tuned for more. Peace.